and we're back in the kitchen with Fired Up Grill, Joe Pusson, and um, we were kind of taking Grandma's recipe and giving yeah. it a, a bit of a twist. A little twist to it, right? Okay. Putting the sweet potatoes in it to in, make in it a, a little flawless dish. Okay, so we've got them already rolled, right? Where do right. they go? We're going to cook them in this water, oh, but okay. right now we have to make a sauce for them. Oh, and okay. It's a quick saute with sauce. It's nothing okay. difficult here. We're going to start off with some butter. You have to put enough butter in there. Gotta and have a lot you, of butter. When you're making the pasta, a, a rule of thumb to, for families would be one egg for every person. So if you're looking to double and triple that recipe. Oh, hey, that's good. And a you always tip. throw one extra egg in in case you have a guest come over that night. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's it. <laughs> because you never, or if you, you want never leftovers. Know. <laughs> I happen to like leftovers. By the way, thank you for sharing your family recipe. And oh, we you're do welcome. have this I enjoy doing it. online for you at home if you want to give it a try over the holidays or any time for that matter, right? Oh, yeah, it's great anytime. I mean, you, you get sweet potatoes all year long. Right. If you take out the sweet potatoes, you just use more ricotta, you, you make a full, just a regular pasta. You can use red sauce with that. Uh, you can use uh, rapini and beans with an oil garlic sauce if you're looking for something like that, which rapini is, is a great dish. Well, let me ask you something. Is there a difference between the sweet potatoes and the yams? Uh, yes, yeah, sweet potatoes are different. It's a potato and a yam is a yam. <laughs> well, thanks for clearing that yeah, up. There you go. <laughs> All right, so after we, we get our butter yeah. started, it has to be a little Sorry, brown. Sorry, it's not, it's yeah, not, it's not, not getting enough. as hot. Yeah. We're going to throw some. Spicy fennel sausage in there. I always like to use spice, you know, fired up. We like things a little spicier. Yeah, that's why it's called fired <laughs> up. Hey, tell me about some of the stuff you have going on over the holidays. You've got, oh, you always have live entertainment. We have live entertainment Friday, Saturday, hour. and Sunday. Great happy hour. Uh, great patio and a patio is beautiful right now. Uh, we're also doing Thanksgiving dinner to go, uh, which is going to be packaged up uh, with heating instructions on the day before. So you wow. can pick up uh, a full Thanksgiving dinner if you with only two or three people. You, know, you don't want to cook for your entire family. We will. Uh, We'll cook that for you. Too. I like it. I like it. It's getting better already. Okay, so the sauce so far we've got butter, butter, and a little touch of garlic, and some uh, spicy fennel sausage. Okay. We're gonna put a little bit of sage in there as it's a sage butter sauce. I'm gonna try uh, a different burner over here and see if that'll. Oh, I don't want to heat the wrong one up either. You, know, you can put the pasta in the water now. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is the, tell oh, me that's the name a sweet potato cavatelli. 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 There you go. <laughs> cavatelli. Okay. Now, when you do, are these like traditional pasta? They'll they'll rise up when they're done. They or? will. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As they start to float, you're going to throw them in the uh, the sauce. Okay. And we're going to make a great sweet potato cavatelli here. All right. Although it may not like, is it going now? Great. I mean, so what did you what did you chop up and put in there? I put a little a sage in there as it's a sage buttered sauce. Oh, I can smell After it. A touch of sage. I can smell it. And, and then we're going to throw some uh, tricolored kale. Mm. Looks like there's something else in there, like carrots. No, it's, and... That's the tricolor. Oh, duh. The purple or is it orange? No, those are carrots. It, carrots. See, that's a carrot, Joe. Come on. Don't mess with me. All right. You want the whole thing in there? Yeah, let's throw half. Let's throw half. Okay. How's that? The other half. All right. That's good. That's the whole thing. Gosh darn it. <laughs> and now a little balsamic vinegar mm. just to finish it off. I love balsamic vinegar. It makes everything taste amazing. Ooh, that's looking good. And there you go. Let's scoop some pasta in there. Tullies, I'm going to move over to you. So who's, uh, who's performing? Um, this week here we have Brian Legate on Friday. Always have a jazz jam on Sunday, and a jazz jam's fun. I mean, musicians come from all over the state and, uh, mm -hmm. and play. Uh, just it's more they get up and play a couple songs each. That's Ooh. been a fun. Uh, oh, how fun! Yeah, it's it's, it's a little it's, different. Yeah, I'm, and you see some great musicians there on Sunday night. And it's you know, such. So a, it's at six thirty. Okay, and and how long does that happy, happy hour go until? The happy hour goes till six. Okay. Uh, three to six. Okay, excellent. Of course, you can always come in, get a bottle of wine, have a few little yeah, appetizers, some, listen, yeah. listen to a some great music. Plates. I'm loving that. Okay, should right, I go ahead and plate this, this up? Yeah. Oh, throw it in there. Okay, doesn't take long for these two. Um, Actually, cook up. Is this one serving that we're making yes. up? Wow, that's a lot, huh? Okay. There we go. Right, we're gonna throw a little bit of Romano cheese in. A little, just a little bit, or? Oh yeah, we we'll use half you and put to, half for garnish. Pinch it or just like? Oh, I mind. throw it yeah, just like that. Oh, Look at that. That's perfect. Oh, it smells so good. And I'll plate it up. And is this on the fall menu too, this Joe? This is. This is a. This is on the fall menu. Oh. Let's throw a little Romano on top of that. Oh my gosh. 
There yeah, you go. look at it. Sweet <laughs> this is how a Joe always ends. Wine. <laughs> this is how Joe always ends all of his dishes, like this. <laughs> I know somebody else who does that and says, <laughs> he says, bam, what should you say? <laughs> Booyah, how about that? All right, all right, you go out, make it a great day. We'll be back here bright Thank and early you. tomorrow morning at 9, Rally for Red Day.